guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you my final thoughts on Invisalign. I got my Invisalign off last week and so I've had some time to reflect on Invisalign. Do I like it? How annoying was it? Am I satisfied with the results? And stuff like that. So I'll be sharing some close-ups of my mouth. I'll be showing you the video of the transformation of my teeth and just like some before and after pictures and also my thoughts on the process. So that's what I'll be sharing today. If this is your first Invisalign video, that you're watching on my channel I would also recommend checking out my very first video that I did a year ago which talks more about attachments my current process and things that I was going through last year when I first got Invisalign so would recommend that so anyways I'll stop talking and we can get started with this video okay so to start with the process the process of my personal Invisalign journey took about a year and a month and I was actually projected for it to only take six months as I was going through the process I almost hit the the six month mark and the dentist looked at my teeth and she had realized that my teeth were getting too close together so she actually had to put a pause on my Invisalign take a new mold send it off to Invisalign get the new Invisalign back and restart my process and the process of stopping and then starting again actually took about five weeks because she had to look at my teeth make sure they actually were getting close together change the plan do the new mold send it into Invisalign, send it back, and then schedule an appointment with me. And so all that took about five, six weeks. And it was kind of annoying for me because I had to continue wearing the very last set of aligners that I had. And it was annoying, but at the same time, I was like grateful that she took the time to look at my teeth to make sure that they were on the right track. But it was still kind of like, oh, you know. So I had to wait those five weeks and then I continued my Invisalign. Well, then in December, I was like, almost done with my Invisalign, like so close to being done. But there was this like one problem tooth that was still like behind my other tooth. And so she had to like shave it down a little bit and then put my Invisalign back in. And she was like, wear this for a week and you know, come back to me the next week. So I did that, problem was still there, shaved down a little bit, put it back on, come back next week. She had to shave it down again. And that went on for about three to four times that she had to shave it down. Finally, after that, I was able to get my Invisalign off. And I just got it off, like I said, last week. And so ultimately the process was supposed to take six months, but it took about a year and one month. So another thing that I wanna talk about is why did I do it? And if you guys have been following me for a while, or if you know me from my past, I had one problem tooth that was on the bottom row of my mouth and it was like a little bit higher and a little bit back and it stuck out to me like so so much probably in my teenage years it didn't bother me that much and I'm not sure why but I never thought about getting braces like my both my sisters had braces and I personally like never asked my mom for braces and the dentist never actually said that I needed braces and so I was like that's fine with me you know I don't want to wear braces but as i got older and in my 20s i kept seeing my teeth and even while i was doing youtube i think that's probably what was like set me off was because i was looking at myself always on camera with this like one tooth that was just like to me it looked so bad and so as I kept seeing that I was like okay I need to look into options of what I can do to fix this tooth so I looked into options and the first really option is braces but my sisters had braces they did not like the braces I knew I was not gonna like braces and I didn't want to wear braces because they're just like these metal things on your mouth and I just didn't want to deal with that. So um, I looked into other things. So I looked into Smile Direct and I'm sure Smile Direct is a great company, but to me they were kind of sketchy because I was like sending all this stuff to them and they were gonna send me back things to do myself. And personally, I'm the type of person that wants to go to a dentist, wants to go to an orthodontist so that they can look at my mouth and tell me what I need to do. Because I'm not qualified to know what's going on in my mouth and so I don't wanna act qualified by doing a DIY company that may or may not work. So I wanted to trust the dentist. So I researched a lot about Invisalign, how much it was gonna cost and stuff like that. And so the first step that I needed to go through was getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Now, my dentist had already told me that I needed to get my wisdom teeth out because my wisdom teeth were like going sideways. And so eventually I would need to get them out. So I did and then I was on the track to possibly getting Invisalign. And so yeah, that tooth was really the only reason that I wanted to get it. Coming to find out, which I'll show some before and after pictures right here, is that it actually wasn't just 
the bottom tooth that was the problem. If you look at this first picture, I was actually closing my mouth in this first picture. And like, as you can see, there's like a gap in the mouth because my teeth were all different heights and I couldn't close my mouth properly. And it's so weird looking back at that because I had no idea that like my whole mouth was the problem, like my upper teeth and my lower teeth. I only thought it was that bottom one. And as you can see, I'll show you a current picture now and everything looks like amazing. And so I personally did it because of that one tooth, but there were so many changes that needed to be made that I didn't even realize. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the annoying process of Invisalign. How annoying is it? The cons of Invisalign and stuff like that. I was watching this video where this girl had said that she felt it always in her mouth. Like it was so annoying she just hated the feeling she never got used to it and stuff like that and I guess that's really personal to you because I never felt my Invisalign like after the first two days because you do have to put it on it hurts a little bit the first few days because your teeth are shifting with this new aligner but after a few days you totally forget it's there and I would even like accidentally put stuff in my mouth and be like oh Ugh. and then have to take my Invisalign out because I forgot that I had Invisalign in and I would do this all the time at work and my boss always saw me and he would just like laugh and make fun of me because I forgot that they were in there but I totally would do that so for me personally they never bothered me other than if they would reach my gum too far which this was on one or two aligners it would reach my gum and it would kind of irritate the inner parts of my mouth and that was kind of annoying but that only happened twice and never happened again so another annoying thing is that you literally like i cannot stress this enough you literally have to take them out every time you eat every time you drink every time you snack like so many times and it seems like whenever someone tells you that it's like not a big deal Brittany. i rarely snack like i'll just drink water whatever which sounds like okay yeah like I'll just do that but it becomes so much more than that like you're hungry a little bit you want to eat a tiny little snack you have to take out your Invisalign eat that tiny little snack go to the bathroom brush your teeth floss your teeth put them back in it becomes this whole thing that you did not want to be a whole thing and let me just tell you I was more of the disgusting Invisalign users because I would honestly like if I was like I just want a snack I don't want to brush my teeth I would take them out eat the snack put my Invisalign back in because I was like I'll brush my teeth later I don't even care and I was that person because at one point I just got so annoyed with it and me and my husband travel a lot and so on the planes like you don't think like they give you the snacks you have to take your Invisalign out if you want to eat the snack so small things that you don't think about also another annoying thing is taking them out because it's not like a beautiful process you take it out and there's slobber that comes out and I'm like like sucking up my saliva and some people are the type of people that are like they'll go to the bathroom and do it like delicately and nicely still a gross process but they'll do it hiding away in the bathroom at one point i was like sorry guys gotta take my invisalign out <laughs> put it on a napkin <laughs> and i would do this all the time at restaurants too and it's probably really gross and i'm sorry that i'm telling you this and you're probably like ew this girl is disgusting but at some point i was like who cares? Like, I'm not gonna go to the bathroom to take out my Invisalign, come back, sit down, like it's this huge process. I can just take them out while I'm sitting here. Like, I'll try to hide a little bit, but ultimately they're coming out. So really those are the only things that were annoying about Invisalign. Everything else is kind of like, you kind of have a lisp. I'm wearing my retainers right now and I don't think I have a lisp. I don't think I'm talking differently. And so you really get used to those things. Yeah, so I would say those are the only annoying things. So like I said, now I am wearing my retainers and I'll do a little up close thing. So you can't really see them um, when I'm standing back or maybe you can, I don't know. <laughs> But you can definitely see them whenever I'm up close and personal and talking to you. They're really shiny. So now I'm going to show you guys the video of my entire process. And this is a video that my dentist gave me with the program that they and Invisalign use. And it just basically shows from the very beginning of your treatment to the end of your treatment and what that's going to look like. Since my treatments were actually two treatments, it's going to be two videos kind of like merged together. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video. <laughs> Shiny teeth and me. 
So as you can see, my teeth aren't exactly like perfection. And I'll even, I took my retainers out. And as you can see now, they're like this. <laughs> this looks really so weird. <laughs> so they're not like perfect, perfect, um, but that's fine because I'm not like a perfectionist. I love the way that my teeth look now, and um, I grinded my teeth whenever I was younger, so I do have flat canines on both sides, but I'm like super in love with the results because like I said again, I wasn't super insecure about my entire mouth, just really that one tooth. And to look back and see the pictures and even look at um, past videos, when I look at those, I'm like, that's what my teeth look like because I like never realized it was my whole mouth. And so the fact that like my whole mouth is now changed and they're all aligned really nicely and the bottom specifically is like aligned really nicely and pretty like I am just super excited about. So I personally would totally do it again. I believe it's totally worth it. However, if you're confident with your smile, how it is like rock those teeth girl, I personally wanted it to be a little bit different. I just love the way that my smile is now. So again, not sure if I said this clearly, but totally worth it. And uh, that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, drop them down below so that I can answer them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.